this. Look, BYD Jr. is going to take this small lawnmower and he's going to cut. If you don't know, this is the um, Honda um, built engine, but it's actually a snapper 22 inch all wheel drive mower. There's a link up top if you want to check out that uh, review we first did. There will be a follow up review one year later. Uh, what he's going to do, he's going to cut the strip with this. Like I said, guys, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're going to try to tackle this right grass. Make this video as short as possible. It's probably still going to be a 30 minute video when I get through with it. Watch it all the way to the end, guys. That's how you help Bermuda Grass Central. All right, BYD Junior, see if you go ahead and crank that up. Before you crank it up, let me show you this. Make sure that you, if you got individual notches for your wheels, make sure that they are all on the same notch. This last thing you want to do is cut it. Well, that notch, and it then back there. This one is maxed out. That one is maxed out. That one is maxed out, but your, your cut will be uneven, all right? So let's go ahead. We already checked that. First time cranking up in a minute. Go ahead, BYD, Joe. All right, first pull. Like I said, guys, we're gonna double cut it. We're gonna come back. It's at max height. So we're not touching any of the Bermuda grass, just the uh, dry grass. stuff I got to do. When BYD Jr. came down here with that first cut, he actually had a little bit of wheel on the concrete. All right? And what we do, just like you do your fertilizer, you do a trim pass. The reason we're not going out on the concrete because if there are any wet gummed up grass in there, we don't want to take it out on the concrete and we'll have an issue getting it off. So when he got right here, turned it that way, went down, caught that little bit came back up and we're finna go back down this way but just like I was explaining to him and you as a homeowner make sure that you do this if you look at my lawnmower from the real well we'll have to do it from the front because I don't want that big a big a shadow all the way. <laughs> if you look at my lawnmower from the front my two wheels are closer in than my back wheels my back wheels set out a little bit more now well the back wheels at it's aligned a little bit with the deck. The front is a little bit more in on the deck. It's not even. So when he goes back down, we don't want to go back down that same line. I want that part of my deck hanging over the line that we went down the first time so I can get this grass where the wheel would be ran over. If you run directly over this and you come late on, it's going to stand back up and you didn't get it. With the deck being over here, which is approximately one, two, three inches, depending on your lawnmower. We want to catch that. Now, if you're cutting this grass and it's gumming up too bad, you're going to have to make two passes. You're going to have to go down, come back up, same strip. Then you'll go over and go back down and come over. But like I said, you're going to make sure that that deck is over the grass mark or the wheel marks that you cut last time. All right. So let's go ahead and let BYD go, guys. Say if you look, see how he has that deck over. That way, you don't have that excess grass standing up like you missed it. And like I said, one of the issues we're gonna have cutting it with this lawnmower is that that lawnmower max cutting height is right, really right at three and a half inches. The grass he's cutting now with the with the Bermuda grass itself is already at three inches. The rye grass extends four to five inches above that. So you might get choke out. If you do get choke out, you're gonna have to take your time cutting it. Make sure the blade is sharp. You might even have to pop a willy at certain points. But this little Honda 160cc motor, it's kind of mowing through it. It's not the strongest. But for a homeowner, it should do you fine. That's, that's his trail pass right there. And guys, I wanna show you this. 
I told him to push it out on the concrete, and when he pushed it out on the concrete and cut it off, look what happened. If you are a landscaper, whatever you do, do not push that lawnmower or ride that lawnmower with wet grass up under the deck onto that customer's concrete because you will have this issue. Now, fortunately, that's not real bad and juicy. We can get that up kind of dry. But you keep the grass on the grass, okay? D Jr. has done an outstanding job of cutting this. And like I said, the ryegrass looked a whole lot better when it was tall. I'm not gonna say it looked better, but it hid the imperfections. And like I said, that's the spot that I was having the issue with getting the um, grass to take. Got a spot right there. And I get a lot of runoff right in this area. And he's gonna cut that minefield back there. But one thing I wanted to show you while we got that in fast motion is you see how the wheels are starting to gum up and we were under debate if we should cut the entire yard with the 22 inch or or should we finish cutting it with the 36 inch and like i said that's one of the reasons you see how this stuff is gumming up man and this is the the 36 inch cut we're going to finish this side with the 36 inch cut and we'll just compare when we get through but like I said, guys, that ryegrass, if you let it get away from you, it's, it's a monster. It's a monster. Like I said, I call it a fail because of what you see now. And like I said, my neighbor on the other street that did it, we both had the same issue. We put it down basically the same day, and it just got rained on like crazy. Man. Washed a lot of that stuff up, man. And no, I didn't come back and add any fertilizer to this because I don't want any fertilizer to this. This annual ryegrass, this thing will be dead when it starts to get that hot. You see in spots that look good, but the main thing I did not do, I did not scalp my Bermuda lawn before I decided to plant the ryegrass. And I did recommend scalp it first, get up as much as the grass you can, then plant it. You'll, you'll get a better, um, kill, not kill, it'll, it'll look a whole lot better if you do it that way. Because the grass is lower it's not fighting for sunlight when the seeds fall all the way down into that Bermuda grass. And it'll just look a whole lot better. But look, still looking good, guys. Like I said, thought it was going to be a five-minute video. It's going to turn into a 30-minute video. But like I said, we got that's that grass where you overran it. Got my tarp out here. We're going to go ahead and throw all that loose grass on that tarp. But you know not to run the lawnmower on the grass, guys. Keep it on the grass. All right, so let me go ahead and finish up this side with the big lawnmower. And uh, I might fast motion that. Look, one of the things I want to show you is if you look real closely, like I said, I'm using a mulching kit and it's not mulching it up. It's mulching it up, but it's, it's so much of it. It's leaving little clumps like this. Generally, you can come back with a blower and you can blow that real hard and you can make, you can break it up. Even little clumps like, I don't know if I, like that right there. I could blow that up and um, blow it real hard and break the clump and it'll just mend in with the grass. This is why I was telling you guys, stay off, stay off the concrete, keep it on the grass, all right? So look, I'm gonna take you back here and let you see something. I'm in the back of my property with the lawnmower. This, that, this is the rye grass. Now, this is what I'm saying. When I shed it off, I pulled the mower back. You see how those clumps are? You do not wanna cut your lawnmower off and it's on your grass. You don't wanna do that. Bring it to a spot where you don't mind for that grass that's hung up in the deck from the blade spinning that's keeping it up there because when you cut it off all the air pressure 
stops and the grass falls down. So it fall down right here, no problem. I can blow it back up in the woods or I can scoop it up, put it in the bag. But you see how it's clumping up on my wheels also? If you notice with this big mower, I went down, came up, down, came up. I actually double cut the same line. All right, let's go check on BYD Jr. and see how he's doing with the 22 inch. The 22 inch have a little bit better. I, I would say success with it because that heavy mower is pushing down on that grass. All right. This light lawnmower is really riding across the top of it. So he's, he's not having his, he, he's not having to double cut it like I did. I'm gonna let him finish and we're gonna see what this joker looks like. It's the same way here. When you get these tight corners, he was cutting it that way. Go ahead and make you three or four trim passes. So when you cut this way, you can turn the lawnmower around without having to go. So you wanted to know about that rye grass. This is the angle that when people are driving by, they will see. And it looks gorgeous. I'm not going to lie to you. I said it's a fail, guys. I, you tell me. What do you think? Some people say it's an experiment. Some people say you effed up BYD. Some people saying, looks good to me, sir. I mean, this is awesome. Like I said, we got it all trimmed up. Stick edge, the grass in between the cracks. And the next thing we're gonna do is where we see clumps, I'm gonna show you how me and BYD take the blowers and blow those clumps and break them up so it doesn't look bad at all. Like I said, when you catch it at a different angle, then you start seeing the imperfections. But that street vision, <laughs> same thing over there. Looking good, looking good. Hey, you are fanatics. Look, this is a pro tip. This is for the landscaper. It's most definitely for the homeowner. You see that lawnmower? Got all that grass and stuff on. I zoom in just a little bit so you can see it, guys. When you get it like that, don't put your lawnmower. I did this in an Instagram video also. Put your equipment back on the grass to blow the excess grass off of it and from off up under it if it's not a lot. Let me demonstrate. Or Fanatics, look, we knocked it out. 
we knock that out. That rye grass is freaking awesome from this view. <laughs> from this view, dog. So you see that side right there. And keep in mind, BYD cut this side with the 22 inch all wheel drive snapper lawnmower with the Honda 160cc engine. And let me show you what I side that BYD cut with the big boy 36 inch um, X mark. So, guys, based on those two pictures, who did the best job? Or what side looked the best? I'll put it to you like that. BYD side. BYD side. Okay guys, just remember one thing. You are tuned into Bermudacrat Central with BYD and BYD Jr. I am Michael Bowman. I am Christopher Bowman. And we'll talk to you soon. Yeah boy! <laughs>